Okay. My name is Marek Scheiter. I'm head of product manager for the counterbalance trucks from our factory uh, in Moosburg, so in Bavaria. And uh, actually, we announced today uh, a sneak preview truck, the first truck of a new era, um, where we have uh, the global goal to substitute all IC truck applications with an electric forklift. So closing this gap regarding performance, ergonomics, auto capability, and all the things around energy handling, energy storage systems, stuff like that. So that's, in total, there's no need in the end um, that you have IC trucks, especially hydrostatic trucks, with some of the top performance level uh, anymore in future. So this is the, the concept of this, uh, basic concept idea of this truck. So, and there was, this, the idea is pretty simple. So we have, um, from our other electronic, uh, sorry, uh, electric trucks, we have excellent uh, components, lease in mind battery technology, we have controllers, we have our uh, wheel motors, all what you need uh, to build a decent forklift and uh, on the IC truck side with our uh, new hydrostatic trucks we have the I think the frame and the structure so the idea was simply okay put everything together merge it and make uh, and use best of the two worlds yeah? and uh, this is the basic idea and uh, I think so far really worked well and uh, First customer feedback shows that we are matching the performance goals, uh, so we are definitely on an equivalent level. So regarding great ability, lifting speed, whatever you mean, although regarding cycles, if you really compare it to a tough hydrostatic truck application, and as well, although this uh, big freedom what you have regarding um, uh, using lithium ion battery modules, so you're not anymore forced to build the truck around the, around the lead acid battery. You have more now freedom and you can use it to put the lithium ion battery modules where it makes sense that you have the, the freedom to generate really extraordinary or um, yeah, superior ergonomics for the driver. It's brilliant. And so this is the largest Jan Heimlich electric truck so far. Is that the case? No, we have uh, the largest one. So our standard um, electric counterbalance trucks go up up to five tons. Okay. And uh, okay, but you you mentioned that uh, before. Well, this is a starting point. We are working that uh, to bring out the truck and in future of course we are going to extend our portfolios. But that doesn't mean uh, that we are not want uh, any more our standard electrical trucks. Because it makes really still sense to have, not everybody needs perfect performance, 100% performance, and not everybody needs this high uh, and auto capability you know, to be on an equal level as a hydrostatic truck. So there are a lot of warehouse applications or mixed applications where it still makes sense that we have your standard EFG portfolio as well. Yeah. This so cool. this is an add-on and closing this gap what you have where, where you have a more uh, yeah, more benefit uh, when you are driving in a, in a hydrostatic truck. So it's more about the high performance. It's more really, more absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. The focus is high performance. It's like beverage industry, brick and block industry, um, things like that, where we really have these tough applications, mainly auto usage. So That's that for is, it. That is more important, as it were, than the, than the weight. That is, the, you know, it's the, it's the performance. Yeah, absolutely. The performance, um, and that is why people are uh, hesitating to move. Um, that is the current gap, you know, and uh, this is what we uh, try now to, 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 to bridge. Um, people are hesitate to move from IC trucks or especially hydrostatic trucks because of their performance and three shift applications it's so easy to refill it that it just takes two minutes and you go so you don't have to care about the yeah charging issues what you know from lead acid batteries stuff like that and it makes it easy okay and now 
it's not only the truck itself, performance is important, okay. But the other thing, you know, what um, my colleague has presented, the, the infrastructure, solutions, uh, storage systems, uh, consultancy, um, how can we implement fleets in your applications, I mean, this is as important as the truck itself.